Hello everybody, I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is Mr Hibbard and I'm the head teacher here at St Bede's Catholic Voluntary Academy. You can see my picture there as I'm stood in front of our house colours um, which your child will become part of when they join us in September. Tonight is an opportunity for you to listen to some important information and we do ask that you pay particular attention to certain elements of this evening because the information that you are able to provide us before your child joins us in September will ensure that your child has the best transition from primary to secondary. And so what the idea behind tonight is, is to get a lot of information um, regarding the school, how the transition from year six to year seven is going to work and any other information that you may need as part of that transition. The aim of tonight really is to make that transition for your child as successful as possible. And that happens like most things in school when we work together. And hopefully by working together over the next five years, the relationship between you and the school will enable your child to have a successful five years with us here at St Bede's. Now, one of the things that makes St Bede's unique, and particularly in Scunthorpe, is that we are a Catholic secondary school. And as such, the centre of what we do is often around prayer. Now, we have a very straightforward and simple prayer at St Bede's, which we say at various points throughout the day. It's important to us because this symbolises what St Bede's is truly about. And so we ask that you join us in saying our mission prayer which is on our screens and as ever when we join in prayer we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord we commit ourselves to love, respect and serve one another as disciples of Jesus Christ. St Bede pray for us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now your child is coming to the start of their time here at St Bede's and a few weeks ago I spoke to the year 11 students who are at the end of their five years and I spoke very much about those three words that you will see on the screen, love, respect and serve. We believe here at St Bede's that if children obey and respect those three things then it will enable them to succeed not only academically but also to become well-rounded individuals. And as I said to the Year 11s who left us very recently, if in life you think about how you can love, respect and serve people, then you won't go far wrong. And so those three ideals are important to us as a school and are as relevant to the new Year 7s coming up as they are to the Year 11s who are just leaving us at the moment. Now this evening we're going to be giving you a wealth of information regarding how your child is going to transition from primary to secondary and as I said earlier on in order for that to be successful there's certain information that you need to have and so over the course of this presentation myself, uh, Miss Sean Collins and Miss Barlow are going to go through quite a lot of information. Now I'm going to talk about three things which you can see on the screen. The academic structure, how we will report to you on the progress your child is making and then also some important information regarding summer schools. So first and foremost regarding the academic structure. Probably one of the most common questions that are asked of secondary schools when children move from primary to secondary is that are you going to put my child into sets and how are you going to decide those sets? Well, here at St Bede's, most children are taught in most subjects outside of sets. So when pupils arrive to us in year seven, the vast majority of lessons will be spent in mixed ability groups. However, there are some subjects which do have sets and they are maths, English and science. Now, the reason that we have sets in those three subjects and not the others is because those three subjects particularly, we need to be able to differentiate the work and to be able to provide the appropriate levels of support and challenge for each individual child. 
But I often get asked the question, well, how are you going to set them? And especially at the moment with the world of COVID, your child did not have any SATs assessments this year. Those are the tests that often happen at the end of year six to determine how ready for secondary school your child is. Now, because of COVID, as you know, these did not take place. So when your child starts with us in September, we are going to do two assessments with them, both of which will be done on computer. The first is called a CAT test. Now, the CAT test is not a test that you can revise for. They're similar to an IQ test. So, for example, they will test your child's ability to do reasoning. They will also test your, ability, your child's ability to spot patterns. And so across four different areas, we will have information that come out from the CAT tests. We will also assess your child's reading age. Now, as you know, reading is a fundamental part of being in primary school. And the reason for that is that it sets them up for being successful in secondary school. So much of what we do means that every child needs to have a good grounding in reading. So we want to know what is your child's reading age so that we can provide the challenge, but also the support if potentially it is below their chronological age. We will also potentially look at some tests in a range of other subjects as well, especially those which have sets, so that again we can provide adequate amounts of challenge and support where necessary. So when your child joins St Bede's, what is it that they can expect to study? Well, we are really proud of our curriculum. Yes, pupils will spend some time doing maths, English and science, but that actually only accounts for around nine lessons a week. In fact, your child will be doing a range of other things. As a Catholic school, they will study RE, but they will also do subjects such as PE, drama, music, art, technology, history, geography and modern foreign languages. Indeed, here at St Bede's, we believe that modern foreign languages are an intricate part of our curriculum, so much so that we expect most pupils to study a language when they move into GCSE. Now, you might ask, well, how are we going to inform you about your child's progress? When you join us in September, we will talk to you about a package called Go for Schools. Go for Schools is a way that you are able to look um, at the website to track how well your child is doing. Throughout the year, we have four assessment points, and at each assessment point, your child will have um, an ability to see whether or not they are working above, at, or below their target grade. Also, Go for Schools is the place where we will put all written reports for your child. And so it is vital, therefore, that you have access to that package. The final thing I want to talk about before I hand over to Miss John Collins is summer schools. Now, this year, which you've probably seen in the news, there's an awful lot being said about secondary schools opening over the summer to welcome children in to participate in summer schools. Now, the summer school will work and it will start on Monday, the 9th of August. During that week, only pupils of year six will be coming into school and we will run a range of different things across the week. That will include some academic subjects where pupils are taught lessons, but it will also include an opportunity to see wider aspects of the curriculum, such as art, such as PE, such as cookery, potentially things like sewing. All these aspects which make pupils well-rounded individuals. Now, the summer school is predominantly going to be focused on those pupils who wish to take part. If you wish your child to be part of summer school and there is no cost to this at all, then please follow the instructions that you should have received in the letter that was sent directly to you regarding summer schools. Now, we do need um, a certain number of pupils to attend the school, summer school to make it viable. At the moment, we have roughly around 15 pupils who are interested. If you are interested, please get in contact with us, because if we don't have sufficient demand, then we may have to decide not to run summer school, which would be a shame. However, having said that, your child this half term will have an opportunity to visit St Bede's and to see 
what the school is like when they do their transition events this half term. I'm now going to hand over to Miss Sharon Collins who's going to give you more information around Year 7. My name is Mrs Sharon Collins, I am the Head of Year 7 and I am pleased to introduce myself to you tonight to inform you about what my role entails and the support structure that we have in place here at St Bede's. Although current circumstances did not allow us to do this in person, I would very much like to welcome you to St Bede's and offer reassurance at this time. The move to secondary school is a very important step in the life of every young person. It is also an exciting step, but one that can be confusing and a little overwhelming at times. Here at St Bede's we aim to make the transition as smooth and as enjoyable as possible. My role as Head of Year 7 is to oversee the transition of all of our Year 7 students as they journey from primary school to joining our school community. At St Bede's we believe that every pupil is an individual and an important part of my role is to ensure that each student receives the support that they need in terms of their academic progress, behaviour and importantly their personal development. This is achieved by working closely with different members in our pastoral team. A vital figure in the support of Year 7 pupils is their learning tutor. In Year 7 we have five experienced learning tutors who will be the first point of contact for their tutees. They will work with them on a daily basis and offer them consistency, support and guidance for the five years that they are at St Bede's. The pastoral support structure also includes our pastoral support staff, Ms Collins and Mrs Stones, and our safeguarding team all of who will be involved in providing bespoke support and guidance where appropriate. To further support the transition for the class of 2026, a transition website has been created. It is packed full of important information about our school, including a virtual tour, a chance to find out about the Year 7 tutors, um, and you can find this transition website by clicking on the Year 6 transition button on our main school homepage. My name is Mrs Charlene Collins and I am the Head of Year 7. I am pleased to introduce myself to you and inform you about what my role entails and the support structure that we have in place here at St Bede's. Although current circumstances did not allow us to do this in person, I would very much like to welcome you to our school and offer reassurance at this time. The move to secondary school is a very important step in the life of every young person. It is also an exciting step, but one that can be confusing and a little overwhelming at times. We aim to make the transition as smooth and enjoyable as possible. My role as Head of Year 7 is to oversee the transition of all of our Year 7 students as they journey from primary school to joining our school community. At St Bede's we believe that every pupil is an individual and an important part of my role is to ensure that each student receives the support that they need in terms of their academic progress, behaviour and importantly their personal development. And this is achieved by working closely with different members in our pastoral team. A vital figure in the support of all of our Year 7 pupils is their learning tutor. In Year 7 we have five experienced learning tutors who will be the first point of contact for their tutees. They will work with them on a daily basis and offer them consistency, support and guidance for the five years that they are at our school. The pastoral support structure also includes a number of different support staff, including Miss Collins and Mrs Stones, and our safeguarding team, all of whom will be invo involved in providing bespoke support and guidance where appropriate. To further support the transition for the class of 2026, a transition website has been created. It is packed full of important information about our school, including a virtual tour and a chance to find out about the Year 7 tutors. You can find the transition website by clicking on the transition button on our main school homepage. The uniform for Year 7 pupils at St Bede's is a school blazer, a school tie, a bottle green v-neck school jumper, a plain white shirt or blouse, and either straight leg black trousers or a school skirt with the emblem on. Uh, shoes should also be black, as should socks. 
the school uniform can be available to purchase from Shars. Information on the school uniform can be found under the parent information tab on the school website. Year 7 pupils will be set homework weekly in all course subjects. For those subjects where they only have one lesson each week, this homework will be set fortnightly. All homework tasks will be written down in the pupils planners. It is the student's responsibility to ensure that this homework is written down, except where there is a need for staff to record it in line with students IEPs and or requests from pastoral staff. Homework should be completed in student books and clearly identified. Student planners will be checked by their learning tutors uh, to ensure that homework is being recorded and completed on time. St Pete's is proud to boast a range of different enrichment opportunities for our pupils. Currently, the enrichment timetable can be found under the curriculum tab on the school website. For Year 7's enrichment opportunities have traditionally included a range of different tasks, including modern foreign language spelling bees, hockey practice, netball practice, basketball practice, girls badminton, boys badminton, art club, music club and a whole range of other different activities that are available. Hello and good evening on this absolutely beautiful night. I am delighted to introduce myself. My name is Jess Barlow and I am the Assistant Head Teacher responsible for Catholic Life and Personal Development. I'm also the Deputy Designated Safeguarding Lead. Part of my role within the school is to oversee transition and so that's why I am meeting you, albeit virtually this evening. Um, it's also to try and make this first part of the journey an enjoyable one for the young people joining us in September. As parents, it's quite daunting to send your child off onto the next step. Um, you know, and actually this is quite a major milestone. My job is also to support you and to support the families and help alleviate any worries or concerns that you do have. There's an awful lot of information being given tonight and it is also available on the website for you to go back and check at any point. As a Catholic school, we're in quite a unique position compared to our counterparts in and around Scunthorpe because we're really given autonomy to educate the full child. It's, it, it's part of our mission. It's not just something that it's an added extra, but it really is the fabric of, of what we believe. Academic success is absolutely of huge importance to us and it always will be. But what we will also focus on well as well is the, the nurturing side of this. We allow for personal growth and we do this in a very safe and very forgiving environment. And that's what perhaps sets us aside. A lot of people have that question. What is so different? What makes it something? Why would you send somebody to a faith school? And what I will say is it absolutely is our culture, our ethos. And because of that, our staff team as well have a drive and have a passion to ensure that the children leave here with the best possible results and feeling like a, a full and rounded person. For many people who will join us in September, you will have come from one of the feeder Catholic schools or perhaps one of the Christian schools. So you will have a faith background and you will have an understanding of what we do within the school. Uh, what we will do over the next five years then is allow you to deepen your relationship with God. For others, this is your first experience of God. It will be your first experience of prayer and we will help you and guide you through this. Um, we do it in quite a, a safe and unassuming environment because our mission is to allow everybody to encounter the person of Jesus Christ. There's much to look forward to when you come to this secondary school and one of the things that we do celebrate really well is success. We will ensure that throughout the day children are rewarded for their hard work, for their effort if they go the extra mile and we will do that by indicating, by putting a, a, um, a stamp in their planner or a note in their planner. The students then accrue these rewards, they will end up with um, a postcard home, they might be mentioned in assemblies, they might have a phone call home as well, but what really they like to focus on is the end of year event. If they accrue enough reward points over the year, then they will be invited to join in a lovely celebration at the end of the year. 
on the other side of the rewards then would be the consequences system. As I've already mentioned, we've got a very safe and a very forgiving culture, but we know that in secondary school children do make mistakes and it is our our position in the school is to help them learn so that they can move on and that they won't replicate those mistakes. We have a very clear consequences system in place. The policy is also available on, on the website. In every single classroom there is a board which indicates whether or not you are on a C1, a C2 or C3. It is obviously our hope that nobody would ever graduate through that consequences system but nevertheless it is there to support and underpin our ethos. C1 would be for a low level consequence. If that was repeated it would be a C2. At that point in time a detention would be issued and you would be expected to do that with a classroom teacher. If it did continue and move to a C3, at that point your child will be taken from that classroom and placed somewhere else and then they would end up with an hour after school as a detention. Hopefully that this would be the end, but if it did go any further, there is a C4, which we have an isolation room in school. That would mean that they would spend one or two days in the isolation room meaning no breaks and no lunch times too that's all spent in there in there they will do reflective work so it's not just a punitive punishment from there a very serious offence would go to a C5 where you'll be looking at a fixed term exclusion we have a very low number of that compared nationally and similarly so then would be a permanent exclusion on the most extreme end of the consequences policy. So when we look at the transition this year we are delighted that we are still going to be offering face to face transition although this might not be packaged in the usual way where we'd we would bring all 21 primary schools together on one day and then everyone would be able to meet each other and their learning tutor instead what we will have is a five day transition where primary schools have been invited on certain days and this is to reduce risk and minimise any crossing of bubbles between primary schools the information has been sent out through primary schools and we have requested that they respond to us directly to ensure that it is something that they would like to be part of. The transition day itself will still run then much in the same way that the children would have been used to. So when they arrive on site they will be welcomed by Mr Hibbard, myself and Miss Charlene Collins. They will then have three taster sessions. The taster sessions could be in science, art, technology, performing arts or drama and music, English or even PE. So they will have three taster sessions. This will be broken up by a lunch. So please ensure that a packed lunch is brought this time for the children will eat in the classroom and then they'll be invited to go out to play in a designated part of the field so that they do not cross with any other bubbles within St Bede's already. We will then finish the day with a bit of a reflection and ascertain how everybody felt throughout the day. We really hope that you are able to join us for the transition because this will be the first time we'll be able to meet these pupils and they will be able to meet us too and it is usually a very nice day together. If we now just want to turn our attention to the transi transition information pack that you receive through the post, you have in there a lot of information that needs to be returned to school to ensure that the data we hold is accurate and that it is up to date. If you want to have a look at the privacy notice it is available on the website and the link is included in the covering letter in the information pack. We ask for photographic permission so that the children's photographs can be used within the school and also could be used on the school website or Twitter or Instagram. If that's something that you don't want please make sure that you obviously tick that for no consent given. The biometric permission is just around using the fingerprints for our cashless system in the canteen. Any SEND information uh, within that as well what we will say if anybody does have any additional concerns please do speak 
um, to our same call, Mr. Weird, you can send an email through, and his email is also available on the front page of the website. We have received information from the primary school, and if that is all up to date and accurate, then we will be contacting individuals. But again, if you feel like you need some more support or you feel like there might be some information that the primary school haven't passed on to us, please do get in touch so that we can really help and support the, the transition of those identified with special educational or medical needs. Again, the medical information was included in that as well. Our goal for schools form uh, email communication so that we can email as well as send out letters sometimes that's just an easier form of communication and um, the data checking sheet just ensuring that your uh, phone numbers are in there and your um, address is accurate and um, the internet acceptable use letter we do have policies within school around safe use of the internet and we do have systems in place um, should that be used in incorrectly. If you've got any questions or you need another copy of any of the forms they are also being made available on the website. Like I say any questions specifically around SEND or medical please just email us or even if you email inquiries we will get back to you or if you've got anything else or any further questions please do not hesitate to get in touch with the school and then I will respond to you.